Over the years, many an exorcism flick has been released, and they either go one of two ways. They either strive for a slow, plodding, realistic take, which often ends up being boring, or they just throw every cliché they've ever heard about the subject together, like levitation, speaking in tongues, and losing control of bodily functions, in hopes of shocking the viewer instead. Oftentimes, though, the end result is just too over the top, and it ends up looking like the pure fiction it is. The Devil Inside attempts to straddle the line between both methods by presenting found footage of a supposed actual event. It opens in 1989 with a 911 call where a woman confesses to having just killed three people, followed immediately by grainy VHS footage of the crime scene. Fast forward 20 years and we meet this woman's now grown daughter, who tells us her mother's fate. Found not guilty by way of insanity and shipped off to an insane asylum, strangely enough, right outside the Vatican. So, what else is there for a girl to do but pack her bags, recruit a documentary filmmaker, and take a trip to see Mommy Murderer? What follows is a series of tense scenes aimed at bringing your guard down, but any seasoned horror veteran knows better, and ultimately the movie ends up suffering from the same problems so many of these found footage films do. It just isn't believable. The camera guy is always a serious douche, who just doesn't know when to put the camera down, everything always happens within the frame of the shot, and these people just so happen to catch the most exciting instances of demonic possession ever, all in a few days' time. It's just too much BS to buy, and it also doesn't help that it's incredibly predictable, and you know exactly what's going on well before the idiotic characters on screen do. On the plus side, once it gets going, about 30 minutes of it are pretty entertaining as it's quickly paced, but unfortunately the movie is nearly 90 minutes long. You do the math. C-minus.